everyone. In this video, I'm going to be addressing a few questions which are often asked when a patient is first told that you have to use a CPAP or a PAP device once the diagnosis of obstructive sleep apnea is confirmed. I'm Dr. Manveer Bhatia, a senior neurologist and a sleep specialist from Delhi. So the first question which is always asked is, Doctor, how long do I have to use this? For this, the answer is very simple. And that's when we explain to the patient that what is the cause of the obstructive sleep apnea in that particular patient? Is it the airway problem? Is it a structural problem of the jaw? Is it the weight? So depending upon what is the cause is what the answer is. That, But on the whole, this is usually for a long period. So it is not that it's a three month, two month, five month. Long means long. Next question. So is this for a lifetime? See, whatever the research has shown now, it's for long and it may be for many years. But like I said, that if it is a child who's going to get some surgery, maybe it will get cured. And if it's an adult who the structure and other factors are well controlled and there is a substantial weight loss, maybe uh, the chances are that CPAP might get removed. And of course, there is research going on. Some newer method technologies will come up and then those may help you to get off the CPAP. Well, so the answer to the question, how long do I have to use it, is uh, that it is a long journey. And second question then asked is, so what happens if I don't use it? So we divide the obstructive sleep apnea by our parameters into mild, moderate, and severe. For moderate and severe, it's clear that they are at a risk to develop high blood pressure, diabetes, heart diseases, brain strokes, memory problems, accidents, impaired mood, emotional changes, affects your work, concentration, and overall quality of life. And these risks are substantial. So thus, if one does not treat, you are at risk to develop these conditions. The third question often asked, so how long does it take to get used to uh, trying to use the CPAP? So if I was to explain a little deeper, what is it that makes us accept or get used to something? Number one is the acceptance. First and foremost, we need to understand that this disease that I have is a chronic condition. It will affect my overall health and quality of life. So I am willing to participate in the prescribed treatment. And that's half the battle won. Second half is the comfort level. So what does comfort mean? That if we are comfortable with the device, we will use it regularly. So the mask, the pressure, all have to be well adjusted so you will feel more comfortable. Third question asked is that, will my CPAP cure my obstructive sleep apnea? See, so obstructive sleep apnea is a chronic condition. And for this condition, the CPAP is a control and not a cure. Uh, but in addition, people ask, so what else can I do? Besides using the PAP, we do focus a lot on the lifestyle measures. So in, if your BMI is high or if you're overweight or obese, please do focus and work on keeping the weight down. Second, if there are habits such as smoking, excessive alcohol consumption, these need to be decreased to improve the or decrease the percent or the chances of having a severe OSA. And you can also try some exercises for the palate, tongue, etc., which will help to strengthen these muscles. So all in all, that this is a excellent control, but it can or needs to be reinforced by other measures so that the control of obstructive sleep apnea is much better. I do hope uh, that some of your questions, which are often asked by people and I have put them together, are answered in this short video. If there are still some more 
unanswered questions, do write to us and we will try and answer them to the best that we can. Thanking you for your attention and best wishes again.